Man, last <laughs> it was a nigga. They bring it back. Oh, five, six, six figures. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my name is Metro Hendrix, and I am here with Roman Six Feet Three. All right, Roman. Today we're gonna to be asking you some questions. Um, let's see. Question one: How big are you really, height wise? <laughs> it's that type of question. Mm. Okay. What is the image you plan for your fans to see you? Um, I'm looking you guys in the eye right now, so everything that you see right now is basically me. Um, I just try to keep it real, you know, everything I've talked about in my music is real for the most part. Uh, I'm out here, I'm living, I'm doing my thing. Uh, I'm kind of just taking it day by day. I kind of want people to see me how, you know, it's like if you know me, you know how I am. So like, uh. I want you guys to kind of have a mixture of that. Ugh, let me take that out. We gotta restart. <laughs> I kind of want you guys to have a mixture of that, um, of that, uh, of that music me and, you know, the me that you know I know in real life, so, yeah. Okay. All right, favorite cartoon? Steven Universe. <laughs> it's like my absolute favorite, like. Close up with that? Okay. Okay, another question. Who are you? Oh, who are your favorite people to collab with? Um, I like collabing with everyone in Seattle, most like the TQ Mafia. That's the musical collective I'm in. So I like collabing with all of them. They're like, they're, we kind of just have like this vibe. So it's like, whenever, whenever someone sends a beat, it's like, Besides this guy in Canada I met named Chet, um over in Seattle, whenever those guys send the beat, I kind of just know how to flow on it and, you know, kind of get my vibe on it. Um, I like working with Will and Sam the most because, you know, me and him, me and those guys have chemistry because they're, they're the ones when no one's really like messing with my music, they hit me up first. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you eat ass? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Where do you see yourself in the future? Um, in the future, because a lot of this music stuff has happened fast. I started music about seven, eight months ago. So like everything that's been, my music, my first four songs are really just like going off the charts and then they, they kind of slowed down a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it'll pick, up, pick back up because you know, I don't know. My fans and friends are weird. Like they mess with my music and at the same time it's like, okay, it's there. But I guess it's cause it's me. So, you know, they always know it's gonna be there. So I expect myself to kind of be, uh, I kind of expect myself to be pretty big in the, I expect myself to be big in the, you know, next few months, years, I don't know. But I see myself, you know, doing shows, more interviews and kind of just getting my thing on, you know, I've been, I've been dropping music videos left and right. I probably got three music videos and two in the vault, so and I got over 30 songs, so and I got a lot more on my computer. But yeah. <laughs> What's. Hmm. You look, he kind of answered this question twice before, but what's your goal? Um, my goal. I want to make it big in this music stuff. I kind of want to go far and I want to kind of get into modeling a little bit too because I'm the older I'm getting I'm starting to like care about my appearance more and I like I like wearing like you know different kind of clothes and putting my hair in different styles so yeah I kind of want to get into acting too because I'm good at that I guess you can say I'm a good liar so yeah okay what's your age I just turned 17 on Wednesday actually so up there I'm getting old <laughs> <laughs> where do you hope to be a year from now um I want to be known in the underground scene like when I go out I want people to be like oh that's Roman 6 feet 3 I listen to his music and his music is fire and you know I just want to be known a little bit because I my work ethic I'm always I'm always grinding like I'm never like not grinding like just because I'm not uploading music or 
posting on social media doesn't mean I don't have music saved up. Like I said, I have over 100 songs in my phone and computer, so yeah, I'm always grinding. Okay. Mm. Tips for kids trying to make it through. Um, tips for kids trying to make it through. Cause I was in this same situation about almost a year and a half ago. Um, just keep your head up and you know, music helped me. Like I listened to a lot of artists who helped me. So I was like, I don't know. I started writing music to kind of, uh, I, I started writing music to, right for but I started writing music to help me cope with a lot of stuff that I was going through. So if you have good friends as well, you know, friends help you forget about what's going on. Video games, cartoons, there's a lot of different ways. You just have to find words for you, basically. Awesome, awesome. Well, that seems to be majority of the questions people sent in. Is there anything else you want to say on camera? Um, I want to say thanks to everybody who fucks with my music. Uh, I got a lot of shit planned. We got more music videos coming, more music, different types of style, collabs on the way. Mentally Insane Part 3 is on the way, even though, you know, nobody cares, but it's out there. It's, it's, it's vaulted. And I also want to say, fuck Slim Jit. We soaking on that big fuck Slim Jit pack. <laughs> Six, 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 fuck it with no devil Carry all these niggas, yeah, you know I got my hands full Can't take myself seriously Now I'm drowning in these drugs, can't you hear?